morning guys <laughs> today we are going to stay at home because Joad and the boys are going to work on the house we're going to have a project and then i thought i'm going to designate the today to clean the house <music> It's very easy to make this coconut milk out of from scratch and it's so fresh and creamy I just use some coconut flakes and some hot water and I use the mixer and the nut bag and it's done Sometimes I like to have a beet latte in the morning. It helps to reduce the inflammation. It improves the circulation in the body, has antioxidants and high in vitamins and minerals. I'm going to use the rest of the coconut milk to cook some oatmeal and that is mostly for short. I'm going to keep them in jars in the future breakfast but today he's going to have some as well i can add some variety to that it depends what i'm going to put on the top and for the boys i'm just going to use these tortillas that are grain free they are made with cassava flour and that is something that they usually make for themselves but they already started to get ready for the projects and they were feeding the chickens so i made that for them Ugh. no 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 well this idea didn't work out as i planned <laughs> i'm going to make some omelets and i love this watermelon radishes they taste wonderful and it's just a bright color i love this so much i added some mushrooms for additional vitamin D and I drizzled that with some teriyaki sauce and I added some fermented veggies. This is the current situation here <laughs> we have to work with that so I couldn't do laundry in the last two days so hopefully today I can do some laundry and we can keep at bay this mess we have and right now I have to clean up the kitchen Written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines. Forget 
starting with cleaning up the countertop this is something i have to do every morning it's a reset after making the breakfast putting away the leftovers into the refrigerator and basically just empty the sink empty the dishwasher so for the rest of the day it will be more inviting to cook lunch and dinner the leftovers i'm going to put them into the swelling storage system i have some bags and i have some glass containers as well but for the veggies i love to use the bags and while i'm cleaning the countertops let me share with you six tips how to keep your countertop nice the first one never cut on a countertop directly always use a cutting board the second protect from the heat even if they don't uh, make a burning mark on it it can dull the surface the third one i use hydrogen peroxide or magic eraser to remove any stains the fourth one wiping done spills immediately the fifth one using plates or towels under the bottle that you keep your oils and it will prevent the ring marks the sixth one avoid strong abrasive cleaners powders and cleaning tools because they can scratch the surface and they will lose their shininess ceramic plates and metal ones that i use for mixing they are going into the dishwasher and all the wooden plates and cutting boards i'm going to hand wash them and the mixer as well i don't know what will happen to me will i be remembered in the century Washing the sink multiple times a day with a little bit of a dish soap can go farther than any other harsh chemicals. When you try to clean it once, it's always harder. So just maintaining with a soapy water can help a lot. A very quick reset in the bedroom, making the bed. <laughs> this wall doesn't have any stud, so kind of the angel's breath holding this mirror up there <laughs> today i am going to focus on the dusting i read that somewhere about 40 pounds of dust makes it into an average home each year dust pollen hair dyed skin cells tiny insect bodies carpet fibers so there's a lots of things that in the dust dusting tools should pick up the dust instead of spreading it i just dump in a cloth before i start to dust i avoid any dusting spray they contain oily substances that is actually attract even more dust they also build up over time and can damage finish <laughs> I plugged in my vacuum cleaner the previous night only to find that it didn't charge because somebody unplugged it from the outlet. <laughs> 
vacuum is the best way to get rid of dust and previously I had a plug-in vacuum cleaner and I have to say it was stronger than this one but this one is easier to use so I do it more frequently and once my floor is cleaner generally speaking it generates less dust on any other surfaces. Jasmine. Sinks require a regular gentle cleaning. A soft cloth, a little dish soap will work for that perfectly. A quick daily rinse will keep the bathroom a welcome place for family and guests. The cleaner that I use to clean the toilet from outside is 50% of vinegar, 50% of water. To clean inside the bowl, half cup of vinegar will be just as effective as the bleach. Lunchtime is approaching very fast, so I'm going to keep it very simple. And of course, it was a big help that George was home that day, so he was able to bake some sausages on the barbecue or cook. Well, cook or bake. <laughs> and then I'm just going to steam, steam some vegetables. I'm going to use some green beans and some broccoli, and I'm just going to steam it uh, very quick. It won't be a long time so it can keep all the texture it's going to be still that we can chew without getting that smooshy <laughs> um texture okay. the world could fall down it's gonna be okay the sun could go out we're gonna be okay if all the blue skies hey. Well, the sink has dishes again but this happens when I cook in the kitchen so <laughs> I'd rather to have a nice homemade food it comes with the price I have to wash dishes but it's all worth it cleaning the bathroom well doesn't mean I have to use harsh chemicals many bathroom cleaners contain ammonia chlorine bleach and over time they will damage the sink and faucets they create tiny pockets of corrosion that ruins the finishes and provide perfect place for bacteria and fungi the key is to ventilate as much as i can and keep it up with the everyday routine as much as possible This stainless steel clip helps keep the towel secure. Where you are, I'll give you my heart. Peace when we're apart. But then he walked by, you see, he walked by and started to smile. Got up and took him by the hand. 
Now I understand that he is your man You make me weak in the knees And top when spring is coming very close i always have this urge to decorate a little bit more and using little itty bitty flowers here and there and just basically more greenery we still have rainy weather so it's not as cold but still lots of rain <laughs> so i'm craving some flowers and plants indoor I like to drink tea and I like to prepare a big batch so that way I can see how much actually I'm drinking. I still have a lots of things on my list and this is one of them <laughs> I've been procrastinating that one I have a sweet friend who actually propagandated this plant from hers and I have to put it into a pot because it started to grow some roots so it's ready to be planted Since I don't like sausage, I picked the sardines uh, for lunch and let me tell you, at this point my hands are shaking, I'm ready to eat something that can elevate my blood sugar because I'm just starving so I'm going to make some nice snack for us. Finally the tools are out so I can do some laundry. There you go. Some of these tasks that I'm doing today it's broken down to smaller projects during the weekdays but since we were home all day I just got done as much as possible so when I dust this unfinished wood either furniture or the shafts in this case I always like to dust with the same direction of the grain so that way it's make sure you know I get it clean and not just <laughs> trapping um, all the dirt where the grains are.
before I can even blink it's about the time to make dinner <laughs> and now I'm going to make one of our favorite dish and this method how I'm storing the carrots this is an amazing help when I have to prepare food and I don't want to do a lot of cleaning the the vegetables because that is practically that takes the most time with the cooking so I just needed to chop up some carrots I added some garlic and onion I'm going to cook it a little bit and I added beef I'm going to start to cook rice adding more vegetables I am adding some peas and beans and then once the rice is done and the meat is done I'm just going to mix all this together and I'm going to serve it with some fermented veggies and it's it has been a favorite for a long time in our household Finally, we have some clean clothes <laughs> so I'm just going to fold them and put them away and I'm going to keep continue to catching up with my laundry in the next couple of days we have a septic tank so I have to be mindful how many loads I do in a day so I like to do a load a day or maybe two not more than that because it can ruin the whole system and it can back up the water so I don't want to play around with that <laughs> my younger one is helping me folding while my older one is driving with his dad <laughs> yes he has the permit so what Joel has been doing with him they are driving every single day they're practicing all kinds of weathers and situations driving in the dark in the rain so make sure he's gonna be prepared when he's going to drive alone Closing the day with some nice dinner with my sweet family and we're just going to rest after that. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe, share and like and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye!